power steering, should you have it or should you not? Now, when they were originally developing the MGF, the engineers didn't want power steering, but the market men made sure it made it into the brochure. So here we have it, electronic power steering, very clever, quite Honda-like. Um, so what we're going to do is go for two drives, one with power steering and one without, and see how it compares. So, first of all, the most useful thing for power steering, fingertip lightness pulling out of a parking spot. Very easy, in fact, literally with my fingertip. And then, once we're out on the road, it does gain a bit of weight, because it is variable um, assistance. It's got a bit of natural weight, but it's always pretty light. Now we'll get out onto some open roads in a minute, and we'll see what it's like there. Right, now that we're on some open roads, get a real feel for what it's like at speed. Off-center, it's reasonably direct, and when you pitch it into a corner, there's a bit of feel, and there's a proper bit of weight to it. It's still a little bit light, but it definitely lets you place the car accurately. What I would say, yeah, just when you're trimming your line and you want to just add a little bit more input, you can't quite, it just doesn't feel as natural as maybe you want it to. Right, let's go and see what happens when you take the fuse out. Right, so now I have taken the fuse out and we have no power steering. So what's it like coming out of the same spot almost? Not too bad, really. I'll take it that we're on gravel, but even on tarmac, it's not, as long as you're moving, it's not uh, muscle buildingly heavy. And then out and about in town doing your 30 mile an hour stuff. It feels actually here a lot better than when it's power assisted because it's light enough, it's not too heavy, um, but it doesn't have that weird kind of trying to be light when it's below 20 miles an hour or something and then trying to be heavy above it. Um, it just feels consistent. So I do prefer it for that. So where you really want it is on the country roads just ahead. So bear with me and uh, we'll find that out too. So at speed, the steering's actually weight-wise not far off what the power steering would be. But it does have a more natural feel. And it gives you a little bit more confidence to push the car <laughs> and you get a load more feel through the wheel, especially if you just keep a constant line through a corner, you're picking up all bits of the road that you wouldn't normally. So just for that, I think it probably is worth it. If you're out there looking for a way to increase the feel, the dynamic feel of your MGF, definitely something worth trying and as you can see it's so easy to just pull the fuse out and put it back in so give it a go and I reckon at least for me personally it's worth keeping it out and you don't have to go to the gym so often when you're parking either right well if you're uh, interested in any other MGF related videos then check out the rest of our channel um, and there's even other stuff on other cars there too. So until next time, thanks a lot. Comment and subscribe. Maybe tell us about your experiences and we'll see you next time. Cheers.